Hi all, this uh, video is about uh, Aurora SDG dashboard. Uh, here we'll, I will explain a bit more about um, what you can do with the dashboard and what you can see. So first of all, uh, Aurora created this dashboard to show um, how their research uh, is contributing uh, to the SDGs. Um, and uh, more details about that you can read on the website. Um, so first of all, we I explained about the uh, layout of uh, of the dashboard. So on the um, on the left side, on the left bar, you can see that there is uh, you can see the SDGs. You can filter on the SDGs uh, by just clicking on them, um, and then it shows, uh, for example, here for uh, reduced uh, inequalities, where the uh, most research of the Aurora universities has taken place. Uh, this is for sustainable uh, cities and communities. Um, this is for um, uh, gender equality. Uh, this is the SDG for uh, clean water, etc. Um, you can also um, limit the the view on on the, on, on the uh, publication dates. So, for example, I filter here on the last uh, few years. And then you can see maybe a different distribution uh, than when you have it in the first uh, years. So um, also you can s uh, filter on university. So here I can filter on the VU for example, or Aberdeen, uh, uh, the university in, sp in, uh, in Spain, and then uh, in Naples, etc. So uh, that is about the uh, the filters so you can go this is just a, a map of, uh, of the aurora universities and now we can go deeper into uh, the other pages um, i've created uh, several pages uh, you can uh, when you click on this menu uh, it shows the different uh, uh, pages that you can use um, here there's a about uh, page telling you more about um, what uh, what the method is then uh, here is a page about the research contributions relative contributions etc and it uh, goes uh, when you go deeper it has more complexity and uh, these are just single uh, universities dashboards of the single universities so first about the about page this shows you can read here more about how we collect the data what the method is for classification how we improved uh, the uh, the method and uh, um, how we uh, now can search for papers for each target within uh, the um, uh, sustainable development goals. So let's go to the next page. This is just um, a page where it just sums up all the papers um, for the different uh, uh, sustainable development goals. Um, and um, uh, just to show where uh, the most papers um, we have found uh, in um, you can also drill down uh, yes when you have a mouse over you can see uh, for example the description of the of the goal um, and also the target and i will go deeper into that if you click on this button um, you can zoom in or drill down on on for example sdg 14 you click on it you see what kind of S, uh, target is contributing uh, the most or has the most papers in uh, in for this uh, uh, for this SDG um, also the, uh, the target description is there if you see the mouse over you can see also this one changes uh, when clicking on on this one for example it uh, even zooms down uh, drills down to the title level of uh, the uh, papers itself um, and well we, we go more into detail in complexity uh, from now on so relative contributions per university so here you can see what uh, what kind of blueprint is for each university uh, towards uh, the other SDGs so um, uh, it's a it's a relative distribution um, and it shows also the mouse over shows also the uh, the absolute number of publications that we've found uh, that differs per, per university of course because it's relative um, 
let's go further. Uh, research indicators. So this this is an interesting graph uh, because it shows the, um, the 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 research or the research performance and the societal influence of, of this research uh, for the SDGs. So um, so here here you can see for uh, for all the universities uh, how many papers um, are contributing to the SDGs. But if you if you fill hover over over this, you can see for each single uh, SDG how much that is. So uh, for example, if you take uh, SDG uh, on affordable energy, um, you can see, uh, for example, we found uh, 374 papers. Um, this is the distribution over the years. And uh, this is uh, that uh, shows that 28% of those uh, 374 papers are in the top 10 uh, percentile uh, of most cited publications field weighted. Explanations are here uh, on the links below. You can read more about what that means. So uh, if you go to societal influence, you, we can see that 41% uh, of these publications are uh, freely av available uh, and accessible uh, for everyone on the planet to read in this research. Uh, it's open access. Uh, to read more about that, you can uh, uh, click on the links here and then uh, we also looked at uh, how many of those papers are um, are mentioned in uh, policy documents um, and uh, um, that's 10% of those papers and this this differs then for each of the SDGs of course um, if you uh, click on this you get the average number uh, on each in each uh, circle um, yes and also you can see for example on clicking on your university how that looks like um, what the distribution is uh, for for um, for each of the universities and um, yeah so basically that's it um, what we've done to, to show what the difference is between the research excellence and uh, the uh, policy citations. We've created a different uh, graph where we can show, um, compare those factors. Uh, so here are the SDGs compared. So we uh, have a bubble diagram for the SDGs. Um, here there is, um, uh, for the, uh, we put on the horizontal axis the, the research uh, performance or research excellence um, and on the vertical axis the uh, policy citation. So we can basically say uh, what kind of excellent research, um, uh, th these, these uh, are, by, by the way, these um, uh, dotted lines are the averages of the selection in the graph. So we can say, for example, this quadrant here, uh, this is excellent research above, above average, uh, 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 that is uh, above average of the top 10% citations and also above average of the, of the policy citations. But you could also see, for example, here that, uh, that this one, affordable uh, and clean energy, um, is, is an SDG that is uh, delivering excellent research but, but is uh, not mentioned very much in policy documents. And that's, a, that's an SDG, for example, that you, we could look into to, uh, um, to see what kind of research is in there and, and see how can we promote this to policymakers uh, a bit more. Um, and also, um, if you want to compare the universities uh, within, uh, within Aurora, you can do this uh, here. You can also then use the filters, for example, on clean and affordable energy. If you filter down uh, to this one, you see only one bubble here, but you see the, uh, the other uh, universities, how they compare to each other on this SDG. Um, if you click on, the, on, on a university, for example, you see one University of Aberdeen, and you see the profile of the University of Aberdeen um, on, on the different SDGs. So this is how you can uh, can use this uh, this model. Um, let's continue. So uh, I go to um, a, a use case overview. This use case is for uh, particularly for policymakers. 
showcasing the um, the research that is um, uh, in, in the top field uh, top, uh, top citations and the policy uh, citations um, and also you can see this uh, these bubble di diagrams uh, coming back um, but also uh, see the percentage of, uh, of open access uh, and versus closed access uh, so for example if we want to know uh, what kind of SDGs are um, are, are um, in, in the uh, uh, in the open access uh, world how that uh, looks like you can you can see this here and also how the distribution is uh, in the in the top 10 percent um, and uh, for example also in the closed access uh, papers how that uh, how that differs also you can um, uh, you can see that the, that the number of policy mentions is a lot lower uh, uh, for, for the open access, uh, for the uh, non-open access, for the closed access, and the open access uh, um, uh, 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 papers, you can also, um, for example, click on on the top ten percent, and you can you have a view of only the top ten percent, and then you see um, uh, here the percentages uh, uh, of the top ten percent. So this is a very marginal uh, uh, thing, and. Um, uh, let me go to the use case for authors. So this is for uh, for grant uh, offices or grant officers who want to see what kind of authors um, are working on on a similar SG um, and uh, over the different universities or within your own university. So for example, if you are interested in um, uh, the um, uh, affordable energy. Uh, research you want to see for example who has published in the only the, the top 10 percent um, of, of research um, and uh, these are the, uh, the, the 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 authors of from Aurora uh, of course uh, you can filter on the view uh, and you see that these paper these researchers are, are working on that uh, particular topic um, and you can also see uh, the uh, different uh, uh, papers that uh, that are um, the publications that are uh, from these authors. Um, uh, if you um, uh, want to filter, drill down to, for example, oh yes, and here you can see what the contribution is of, for the different universities for this SDG. If you want to drill down for, uh, for example, for um, uh, the uh, SDG. Uh, and the, within the SDG target three, and if you click uh, open this um, uh, plus button, it shows you uh, the little text of, of that target. Um, and uh, if you click on this, uh, it drills down to the papers that are particularly concerned with this um, uh, SDG or this target, uh, and also the authors uh, within that target. Uh, you can see uh, the distribution of the universities is changing. Um, you can also, for example, want to drill down in a specific uh, research field for that um, uh, uh, SEG, for example, on, on mechanical engineering, um, or maybe uh, there's a research topic or a topic cluster that you want to uh, see, for example, example renovation. Um, see uh, who, who's what kind of authors are working on renovation uh, for this uh, to improve the energy efficiency uh, and uh, see the publications in there um, so this is how you can drill down to to uh, specific authors uh, for a specific topic uh, within that SDG um, and uh, yes this you this you can do also uh, for your own university, for example, here the view. Uh, so you can uh, similar. We have a similar um, display here, uh, where you can. Uh, well, it shows the number of publications, of course. Also here, this the, the SDG. Maybe you are interested in in a, in, a, in a SDG fifteen. Uh, so that's live on land, and particularly. Uh, 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 the target number two um, and uh, clicking on that you can see 
what kind of authors are involved in this. Uh, but also you can see the, the co-author uh, collaboration on this uh, topic. Uh, if you want to drill down more about uh, in forestry, you want to see uh, in, um, uh, for example, in agricultural investments, you see that these authors are working on, uh, on, on that particular topic. Uh, for this SDG, and that's how you can can spot uh, the um, the topics uh, uh, within or sp uh, spot the specific uh, publications and authors that are working on these uh, topics uh, within uh, the goals. Um, if I go, for example, to um, let's say Iceland. Um, we could also search for a specific author uh, uh, or, or select one uh, from the list. But if we search one, we take one, uh, one author, for example, that has, has five publications, he or she has five publications, uh, working on, on several SDGs um, uh, and uh, several in the research field, and particular uh, research fields, um, and can drill down to, to specific topics. So um, this is um, how this um, dashboard works and how you can use it. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, if there are any questions, uh, please uh, send us uh, feedback. There is a feedback button here. Um, and uh, uh, let us know what you're missing uh, in this uh, dashboard uh, or what would help you uh, more uh, with the task that you are doing. Thank you very much.